Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. For this DIY, we're going to begin with three of these wooden crates from the Dollar Tree. They're made out of balsa wood, which is a really soft wood. And I'm going to go in with my X-Acto knife, or you could use a utility knife or any kind of sharp cutting implement, just be careful. And so you're going to cut down the two sides like this until the sides fall off like this, until the side just pops off. And you're going to do this to two of the crates and then the middle crates, the center crate, you're going to cut both of the sides like this. Now these extra pieces of wood, don't throw them away, save them for another project because they are wood. Okay, so now we're going to join all these together like this in this manner. And I'm going to go in with the Elaine's tacky glue. I really like this kind of glue for any kind of balsa wood project. But if you don't have it, any kind of wood glue would work. Hot glue would work too, but I like the Aileen's and the wood glue because you have time to place it where you'd like. And with the hot glue, you're kind of committed. So <laughs> I really like this kind of glue instead for these kind of projects because they don't always line up just right. You have to kind of finagle it and get it to line up. Okay, so I'm going to set it aside here and I'm going to place a couple of heavy things on both sides, a couple of bottles of paint on each side just to keep it tight like this and I'm just going to leave it there overnight wipe off all the extra glue and that's it I'm not going to use any hot glue or anything I'm just going to let this dry overnight and you'll see it's going to be perfect okay so in the meantime I'm going to go in with these arrows and these are the wood arrows also balsa wood but we're not going to cut them I'm just going to prepare them to paint I'm not going to fill the holes on the on that smaller one because we'll be covering it but I do remove all the rope and the staples on the back of these, of these two longer arrows. So now I'm going to go in with a combination of two paints. I usually like to use nutmeg for my gingerbread projects, but I didn't have any. So I'm going to use a combination of melted chocolate by Apple Barrel and khaki by Apple Barrel. And I'll combine these two, mix them up, and I'll make my own nutmeg shade of paint <laughs> it's pretty close let me tell you I was I impressed myself <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix these up and I'm gonna paint everything here just like this and now this is the very next day all nice and dry looking pretty good and by this time I ended up going to the store and I did purchase some of the nutmeg uh, shade of paint this nutmeg brown so now I'm gonna kind of dry brush a little bit of this paint all over my surfaces just to give it another tone because you know gingerbread is not just one tone sometimes it's a little dark in certain spots sometimes a little lighter and I figured you know if we're gonna do some kind of a Christmas farmhouse gotta have some dry brushing somewhere so it's very subtle but you can still see it you got to look for it but you can see it but it's very subtle and I'll do this planter and the three arrows in this manner until so they look like this. So now I'm going to go in with this all-purpose caulking by the Dollar Tree. And I like this one that's in this plastic tube. It's easier than, than the one in the big caulking gun tube one. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but I like this one better. This one is almost like a, like a piping bag. Not that I decorate cakes or anything, but... I, I know what a piping bag is. <laughs> That's about it. So now here I'm just going to outline the little arrows with this caulking. And I'll do all three, of these, all three of these arrows in this manner until they look like this. And I'll keep a small bowl of water right next to me in case I need to pat anything down. And now I'll do the same thing with the planter on the top edge. I'll go all the way around this planter. And on the very front edge, I'll do a thicker piping than I do on the sides. Actually, the sides I do a thicker too, but the back I do a thin, just a real thin, light piping because you're really not going to see it unless you turn the whole thing around, which this thing is going to be big, so I doubt you're going to turn it around. But I'll just keep working it until I get it to look like this. And now while that's drying, I'm going to go in with six of these larger size craft sticks. And I'm going to snip off all the rounded ends 
and see how much I need to create a roof line and then I'll use that one as a template to snip off the rest of the craft sticks in the same length. So now I'll adhere them onto the roofs like this, make them the little roof for the little houses. These little arrows are going to be houses and I'm going to go in with the white paint by Apple Barrel and I'm going to paint these little sticks and I'm going to adhere them to the roof lines of these houses, these arrows to make them into houses. So like this. And now I'm going to go back in with some of my caulking and I'm going to cover the complete roof lines of these craft sticks, of these little houses. And I'm just going to do like a dabbing motion just to help give it more texture. Kind of like make it look like little peaks like this. And I'll continue and I'll get the complete roof lines of these houses and then I'll paint them with a little bit of the white apple barrel paint because even though this caulking is already white, it doesn't dry bright white. It dries kind of like a muddy white, like an off white. So I decided to go ahead and paint it white. And while the paint was drying, I did add a little bit of silver glitter, you know, just because, just to make it a little bit pretty <laughs> uh, anyway look just like this look how cute really cute and so here's my glitter and here I'm just gonna add some glitter this is after it's painted of course and yeah just a little bit of silver glitter and I did have some of the white finer glitter but I decided to use a little bit of silver because it's going to go with some of the florals that I have. Yes, my florals have glitter. I am brave, <laughs> but it's gonna look so cute. Okay, so now, now I'm taking one of these tiny little uh, ornaments from the Dollar Tree. This one is a gingerbread house and I'm pulling it apart, taking the light out and also this little truck. I'm going to paint them both in the gingerbread colors. They're gonna be a part of this DIY. And this light here was a little bit more difficult to remove, but just keep, keep pushing and pushing and they all fall off. So I ended up going with the nutmeg brown on this one. So it looks like this. And we'll come back to these in a minute. And this video is a part of the Gingerbread House DIY open playlist. And it is hosted by Tammy over at Happiness Created and myself here on this channel. And we have a playlist full of wonderful, very talented ladies creating gingerbread houses. So when you're done watching my video, please head on over to my description box and view the playlist. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to watch. Okay, now let's begin with the embellishments. This is the fun part. So I purchased this silicone mold on Amazon and I purchased this pack of glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. They're the longer glue sticks. And all I'm going to do is simply add glue, hot glue to these molds. And I'm just going to take my time and fill all these up with the hot glue. Make sure to get all the nooks and crannies and all the corners and dips and everything until it looks like this. And so now it's nice and cool and they're all dry and they just peel right off so easily. Look at this. This is fantastic. I mean, you can use clay for sure. These are made for clay. But why not just use the hot glue and you get it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar? Perfect. So now I'm going to go in with some of the apple barrel paint in the color white, paint them all up like this. And now I'm going to begin to do a little bit of detail painting. And I'm just going to create a candy cane pattern, or should I say color combination. And I'm just going to go in with the apple barrel paint in the color flag red and do the detail painting. And I'm going to take my time, just play some music in the background and just kind of just paint the sides like this, paint them and try to make it look like the peppermint pattern or peppermint color combination. And so they're all different and so they'll look like this. And you can always go back and do any touch-ups if you need to. It's really easy. Okay, so now I'm ready to add all these to my houses, do the embellishing. And at first I wanted to put this pattern like this on the house but the house is looking too narrow I wanted at least one of these houses to be a little bit more wide 
So I'm going to go on the sides of the house and I'm going to, just to do that by adding a couple of pieces of my leftover craft sticks that I cut off earlier. So I'm just going to make sure it's going to fit this embellishment, snip off the excess and just add a little bit of hot glue, make sure it's going to fit, make sure it's not going to be sticking out and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and place it on the side of the house. Now you're not going to see it on this one because I went out of frame a little bit but you'll see it better on this second column. So then I'll adhere the top part to the house and so here I'm doing the second one you'll see this one a little bit better. Here I had the sense to move it up. <laughs> Adding the glue and placing it on the side like this. And since these are just hot glue, they're not heavy at all. They're very light. So this will definitely hold it and just add some more glue on the top and look super cute. Okay. So now I'm going to do the second house, second tall house. And these I will do right on the house itself. So I'll have one house that's a little bit wider, one house that's a little bit thinner. And then the last house will be the shorter little squatty house. I can say that because I'm squatty. <laughs> Okay, so I put these on like this, super cute. And here's a little squatty one. And on these, since they're short, I'm able to cut these in half and I'm able to use one row for both sides of this house. And that'll give me another row that I can cut in half and place on the roof line of this house. So yeah, each house will definitely be different. So here I'm placing the second row and now I'll take the second piece that I had for this house and I'll place it on the roof line like this. So it's not quite long enough but I'll just do towards the bottom. I'll make it kind of go down on a slant like this and then I'll do the second one as well. like this. And now it's looking super cute, looking very different than the other two. Super cute. So now I'm going to go in with some of these embellishments that I purchased off of Amazon and they're just plastic. I'm definitely not going to use any real candy. I want to put this away, save it or sell it or gift it or whatever I want to do with it. So I just want to make sure it's not any real candy and these are perfect and I'll link these in my description box for you guys. And I'm just placing this bigger peppermint on the top corner, the very top point of the house. And I'm going to place some of the smaller ones on the sides of the roof just to fill in that little gap that's there. So I'll place one here and I'll place one on the other side like this. Look how cute. So I'll set this aside so the, the glue will cool down and I'll work on my next house. Do some embellishing, grab another large peppermint, put some hot glue, stick it on the top point up here like this. And then I'm going to go in with some of these candy canes. They're also the same plastic. I'm just going to add some hot glue to the roof line and place these on there. Went upwards and I'll do the same for the second one like this and adhere it up top. Look how cute it's looking. Oh my goodness. So cute. <laughs> And I decided not to make these traditional houses. I don't want to do any doors or windows, but I'm going to add these other peppermints on the front as well, like this. So I'll add this one and then I'll add this other one. And I don't do anything to the bottom because the bottom part will be covered with some florals later on. So now I'm going to work on the third house. 
add a big peppermint on the top that's probably the only thing that they all have in common is that top peppermint and that's just because it looks cute oh and the the two candy canes on the two larger houses for sure too now I'll add these on there like this Add a bead of glue and these plastic pieces they're very light so they're perfect for this application and they're so cute and I'll add a couple peppermints to the top or should I say to the front of this house as well just going on on the opposite direction so the other one on top was on the left, this one's on the right, and vice versa, like this. Look how cute! So now my little squatty one, I decided to just add two candy canes in the front since it already had something on the roof line. So I just add a bit of glue, and I just eyeballed it, set it down. Let me tell you, I took a risk here. <laughs> But it worked. <laughs> oh my goodness, it worked. I was like, please don't let me mess up because I really don't like committing to the hot glue. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness, it worked. I was so excited. Okay, so now I picked up this pinwheel from the Dollar Tree. Yes, this pinwheel. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to create a windmill, a peppermint windmill for my homestead. I'm calling it a homestead. I'm calling it a gingerbread, a farmhouse gingerbread homestead. <laughs> so I took it all apart and I'm going to go in with the two paints that I've been using all this time. Well, the red and the white from Apple Barrel until they look like this. All painted nice and thoroughly. And now I'm going to begin to assemble this together in the opposite direction that it was because I want to make it into a peppermint. So I'm going to add some hot glue to help adhere it and I'll place the other piece on top but a little bit off, a little bit staggered like this. Look at that. It's a peppermint guys. It's a peppermint. <laughs> but my stick is a little bit too high for the knob in the center. So I'm going to use my EMT shears and snip off this little piece and now it's a little short piece. And now I can place the top part on it. And look at that. It's a peppermint windmill. <laughs> so now here's my planter all nice and dry. All the caulking is dry and it's all one piece. No hot glue needed. And I'm going to use the floor foam. Stick them in there. Two of them. These rectangular ones. And I'm going to stick one of these houses in where I feel like I want it to be stuck in there. Just to create the form. And so once I did that, then I'll pull the floral foam out and with my handy tool from the Dollar Tree, I'll just completely snip off or should I say shear off the floral foam that I don't need so I can have these houses fit inside. And then I'll place the other one on top or should I say underneath and I'll do the same and I'll just cut it and form the section that I need to place my little houses like this okay so now here I wasn't thinking and here I thought okay I'm gonna go ahead and make my gap for this little house so I'll just do half and then that way since they're both halves it'll make the one whole but I wasn't thinking and I wanted my little house to be more forward in placement than the other two. I wanted the other two to be towards the back and the little house to be towards the, to the a little bit towards the center. So this is really not going to work but you'll see how I remedy this. There's always something, <laughs> always something. So here my big houses fit in there just right. That's great and I do go in and adhere them with some hot glue but look this is where I notice uh oh Okay, so I just pull it out and then I just place it where I want it to be placed and I kind of push it in just to make the indention and it worked perfectly. So now I'm going to add the hot glue and anchor everything in. So here I'm going to place it in there. And now 
now it's like how I want it. So now I'm taking these smaller pieces that I painted earlier and I'm going to go in with the white apple barrel paint and I'm just going to create icing or the faux icing on these. I'm going to call them cookies, <laughs> gingerbread cookies. And I'm just going to do the two. I had the four, but I decided just to do the two. So I'm going to add the little house over here on the left and just place them on with some hot glue. And then I'll do the little car. I don't know if it's a car or a truck, but whatever it is, the vehicle. Add some hot glue to the tires to the bottom and I'll place them inside like this. Just push it a little bit. Look how cute. Okay, so now I decided to do a little bit more embellishing. I am a little bit nuts about my embellishing, but I love it. It's what I like to do. So I'm taking these shorter wooden dowel sticks from the Dollar Tree and some of this really cute peppermint stripe ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add a little, little dab of glue on the top, place my ribbon kind of um, on an angle, and I'm just going to spin and wrap this dowel with this ribbon and I'll just go all the way to the bottom and then secure it at the bottom with another dab of glue like this and I'll do this to all four of my wooden dowels and look how cute so here's my dab of glue and finishing it up kind of massage the glue in a little bit so it won't be so bulky and here they are ready to go and now I'm going to take some of these peppermints those sh little smaller ones add a dab of glue in the center and place one of these dowels on each one to create little lollipops look how adorable so cute and I'll do this to all four until they look like this and now I'm taking some of this gingham ribbon. I think this one I purchased from Family Dollar. And it's in the same color scheme that I'm using. But I wanted to break up the monotony of the ribbon. So I figured it would be cute since it is kind of farmhouse. And it goes with it. So hey, just, I'm just going to create four little bows. And I'm going to dovetail the ends on all four. And these will be little ribbons for my lollipops. So, in a sense, they will be embellishments for my embellishments. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. I think I have too much fun with this kind of stuff. This is just my jam. This is my jam. Okay, so here's my little lollipop. And I'm just going to hot glue a little bow on there. Look how adorable. Oh my goodness, so cute. So I get them all done. And now I'm just going to place them in... I'm going to place them on the sides. So I'll do one or two on one side and two on the other side on the other end just wherever I feel like it, they would look cute kind of sticking up like this really cute and now I'm going to go in with that same um, peppermint stripe ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to create a larger bow and this bow will go in the center of my planter in the front and so you'll see that in a minute and so that's why it's a larger bow and I'm going to dovetail the ends as well like this and with the same ribbon I'll create four smaller bows and the four smaller bows will go on the tops of my columns on the houses the two larger houses like here see right here just to give it a finished look because it kind of has like a gap like an open gap so now that I have those in place I'm taking that same ribbon and I'm going to go around the whole outside of my planter add a dab of glue secure it go around the whole house the whole planter pull it taut snip off the excess and add another dab of glue to secure the other piece make sure it's nice and tight and then here's where my larger bow goes I'm gonna add a dab of glue and place it right in the front look how adorable oh my goodness I'm just I just can't <laughs> so now all I have to do is go in with my florals and I don't show it but I ended up painting the floral foam white 
which I should have done that to begin with, but it didn't. But here are the floors I'm going to use, the frosted greenery and these branches. And then here's the final reveal, home sweet homestead. And here we go. What do you guys think? Well, I'll take a moment and thank Tammy over at Happiness Created for co-hosting with me. It was a lot of fun. I had too much fun, I think. <laughs> and please, when you're done watching this video, please head on over to my description box and follow the playlist link. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to see what everybody created. So much talent in this playlist. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.